cut, but when he went to the Marine Corps and came back, the first time he came back was Christmas Eve. And he came back in a uniform, he was strong, his hair was shaved, and he looked really just amazing. And I, I was so proud. And ever since that day, when my mother was standing next to him and introducing everybody to uh, him, and this is my son, he's a Marine, we're so proud. Ever since that day, um, I've just kind of been really a fan of the military and really a fan of the veterans. So I want to thank all of you that have served, all the families that are part of it as well. Uh, I get a chance to go to some BFWs to do some things, DJ things, not only because the drinks are cheap there, but also because there's a lot of great stories. And there's a lot of younger veterans that I get to meet at some of these BFWs. And no matter if you're 25 returning from Iraq or Afghanistan, if you were in World War II or Korea, I listen to the stories. And I'm not there because of the ins and outs of war, or the battles, or what to do, what kind of gun did you carry, you know, what kind of job did you have. It's the stories about the brotherhood and the sisterhoods and all the stuff that goes on beyond just the battle. The friendships that, uh, friendships that they make, the families that they become a part of. I'm totally impressed by that. So thank you so much to all of you that have served and all the families, all of our Gold Star families. I can't thank you enough. I'm really proud to be here tonight.